Hello, my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day, and I have this awesome little test quilt here on my Eversone Celine sewing machine. And I wanna test and see what free motion quilting fillers look like with our decorative stitches. So I've been doing lots of swatching with our decorative stitch swatcher, playing with stitch length and width to come up with some designs that look really good quilted on my quilt, that means I actually stitched through all three layers coming out the back, you can see it on the back. Uh, and I did this with a walking foot. I have a short little video if you wanna check that out, just some one quick little tip, cause it's very, very easy to do. And I just crossed my lines. I didn't worry about stopping and not overlapping. If that bothered you, I figured you could just sew a button <laughs> or a little circle applique or something on top of that. But I think it looks perfectly fine. So now I have these six inch spaces and I wanna play with this and try free motion quilting fillers stitched inside of these. I might even play with some ruler quilting too. I just feel like this is giving us a great opportunity to play with different designs and see what how it works. How does it work to quilt with both decorative stitches and with free motion quilting designs? So I'm gonna pull up thread here and then I'll zoom in so that way we can quilt our light spiral design together. So light spiral is a very simple design. We're gonna swirl into a spiral shape and then we're going to create a circle in the center and then travel stitch our way back out again. A lot of travel stitching with this design. That doesn't mean that we have to travel stitch with all free motion quilting designs. It's just the rule for this particular design. Now I'm gonna swing into another spiral shape swirling around and then forming that circle. Now, if you want to, you could build up thread, you could spin around and around and around if you wanted to, but I just like to form that circle and then travel stitch my way just a little distance away before I swirl into my next spiral shape. I'm gonna make sure my needle is ending in the down position, it's just a habit. I like it to always end in the down position so that way the quilt doesn't move while I'm shifting my hands around. There we go, got another little circle. And then I wanna fill in this whole corner and move up to my next row. So you can see how I stitched this across the quilt, the square in a row more or less, and then I stitch down and form another row, kind of nesting it together with the other one. So I think I'm gonna form a small light spiral here. There we go. Don't worry about which way the spiral is spinning. The key here, I think with the decorative stitches, we kind of just have to watch out with getting too close to them. Like you don't want to travel stitch along them or anything uh, because it would be impossible to travel stitch along something that looks like that, right? We want to give a little bit of a buffer around those decorative stitches. I think that's going to make it look nice. Uh, let the decorative stitches be kind of the border of the block. Uh, and that kind of changes things a little bit where you don't really have a ditch you can stitch in. Like you don't have a, an edge or a border that you could base your design off of. For that reason, I think designs like Light Spiral are gonna work really well. This is a design you can see, I can just flow around, forming these shapes, swirling into my next spiral, and you can see I don't have to touch those edges. I don't have to travel stitch against that in order to get to the next area of my design. Other free motion quilting designs work very differently though. So you just have to kind of take a look at it and figure out what's gonna work for you and also which designs are gonna work best. And that's really the point of this whole test, just to see what's gonna work best. So this is a very, very fun design. It's, very, it's flowing very, very quickly. Even though there's some travel stitching involved, don't hesitate to put your foot down while you are stitching the spiral, but you definitely wanna slow down a little bit as you're doing that travel stitching. So you can actually hear that as I put my foot down and really give it some gas, and I increase my speed while making that initial spiral and the circle shape, and then I slow down. And I don't have a stitch regulator whenever my machine is stationary, you know, down in a table. Uh, that's just my foot on the foot pedal with that level of control and that just comes with practice and time. So the more you stitch light spiral, the better you're going to get at controlling the speed of your sewing machine. 
So there we go. We stitched several rows of light spiral and I think that looks great. We have a little bit of a buffer between the design and the decorative stitches. I think that's a great way to quilt your quilts with both types of designs. A little bit of free motion, a little bit of decorative stitching. So make sure to check out my next video. We're gonna do a little ruler quilting next to give ourselves that edge, just in case we wanted to quilt a different style of design. If you'd like to follow along, come and check out all of these different fun tutorials at leahday.com slash decorate. <laughs> Until next time, let's go quilt.